would you say differentiates you from your opponent? My experience, uh, my experience and my experience. Okay. Uh, of course, I'm quite a bit older than my opponent, but I've also uh, practiced law uh, in Alaska. I was, uh, I've done agency law. I've been a civil trial litigator, certified, nationally certified civil trial litigator. I've been a district court judge for 10 years, and I've been in the court of appeals for eight years. Uh, as a district court judge, I was the only judge chambered in my county, Brown County. So I handled every single kind of case that came into the court for 10 years. So I think the depth and breadth of my experience plus my life experience is just uh, much greater than my opponents. Okay. What are some of your, maybe this kind of relates to what we just talked about, but what, what would you say are some of your past accomplishments that make you sort of the better candidate to sit on a court of appeals? I've worked on so many committees and commissions and task force uh, trying to improve the access to justice and the delivery of justice in Minnesota. I think I really have a, depth, a broad and a great understanding of how justice is delivered in Minnesota, some of the problems that face the courts. Uh, I've uh, worked with mostly with the Children's Justice Initiative, with public defender access, providing services, uh, public defender services to parents in child protection cases. I was the chair of the General Rules Committee long ago. Uh, I was, uh, I'm sorry, I was on the General Rules Committee. I was the chair of the Conciliation Court Rules Committee that revamped the Conciliation Court Rules Committee. There's so many I can hardly remember them, but I just think I bring a vast wealth of experience to the whole process of being in the court system as well as judging. Okay. So what will be your overall campaign strategy? Now that the primary is over, we're getting heavy into election season here. Also to get the word out that I am qualified, that I really want the job. Uh, my opponent seems to think I'm going to retire, but I'm not going to reach retirement age in this term and I'm ready, willing, and able to serve a full term. Uh, he also seems to think that, the, that some, for some reason people aren't voting for me, but I have been elected three times, once in a contested election. I think I am, uh, the voters have approved of me. I'm very responsible to the voters. I've, I really, uh, being on the court, you really realize the fragility of the American system of justice. It really does depend on the trust and confidence of the people. Mm -hmm. And there's no way that our system can survive if the people lose trust and confidence in our court system. I mean, I know we're only one branch of government, but we are the branch of government that keeps the other branches of government out of people's lives to the extent that the Constitution mandates that. So I think every judge is very, very uh, humbled by the experience of, uh, of sitting on the court. I mean, we have a very different role to play than the legislature or the administration, and we're very aware of that.